2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. Delighted to have you with us as we begin our coverage of this tournament. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside PGA champion Rich Beam. We're in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Hello, Luke. Glad to be with you. And I'm so happy to be able to bring you things from my perspective down here on the course. You liked that, didn't you? Time for the second shot into the first. This one needs to kick left. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, from where I am, it looks around 27 feet, I'd say. Not sure how that putt came up shy. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. Starting the round at even par. Time to tee off at the second. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. This one looks to be slightly offline here. And here we are with the third shot. Fifteen feet to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Going with the five wood. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. This one's for Birdie. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Teeing off here at the fourth.
Well, that should find the bunker. Even for the day. Ooh, good shot, got a fair piece of that ball. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Now five strokes behind. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Going with the six iron here. This one's going to the right. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Chance to change his fortunes on the green. This would be a good one to make. It's tracking. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. This one might roll into the rough. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Five shots off the pace. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. That's a little wayward. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. This putt is from 14 feet. This one's online. Ooh, right by the hole. Well, at least you're not putting for triple. Let's make this for double. Ooh. Uh, this putt coming up is for triple bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Sitting at four over for the event. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it? or play it safe. That's a swing only a mother could love there, Luke. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, the lie is, you know, considering the situation is pretty good. Hopefully they can get a hold of this one.
That's the right option. Put it back in play. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. That's the common mistake, hitting it out to the left. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Yeah, that was slightly misjudged. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. That was pretty straightforward. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Look, the double bogey's behind you. Now let's get stuck into this hole in front of you. That should find the fairway. Uh, Rich, I might have to put in my apologies there. Yeah, I kind of think you need to. That is really in an awful spot. Great looking shot, this. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for par. Oh, nice looking putt. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. They're yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Uh, didn't quite hit it, did you? That will drive you bats. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Luke, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make it on the Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. Time for the second shot at the 10th. And here we are with the third shot. John, have you got a read on this one? This looks like somewhere in the 27 foot range from here. Never quite hit that. It's downhill the entire way, and yet, unexplicably, comes up short. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. Currently at seven over par. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours.
getting ready to play their third. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Outside chance here for the birdie. Big chance here. Oh, so close. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Sitting at seven over for the event. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Well, this should find the short grass. This would be a great up and down. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Well, oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one striped. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. He's got a chance. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Currently at seven over par. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yeah, well played. And this is a 20-footer. Get in. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Oh, great swing there. Second shot here on the 15th. Opting for the six iron. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. A 
not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. That's disappointing. Downhill putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. Yeah, you'll take that. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four. That's heading into the rough, I think. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, guys, it might not be all that bad here in the first cut. It's sitting, sitting up pretty good. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? I know, with all those muscles, too. I don't get it. And down she goes. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Opting for the five-wood. Oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Sitting at plus five overall. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the lucky last. The 18th. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Look out, this could be wet. And here we are with the third shot. That swing's so pure, it reminds me of Adam Scott's. Playing their fourth shot. This is their fifth shot. Well played, mate. And this putt for a final score of 78. And with that, this player has finished their Q School final. But Rich, unfortunately, they didn't manage to make it to that all-important top 50 and won't be able to advance to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. However, on their side is the opportunity to do it all again next year. The player's going to have a rough go of it for another year until they can get back and hopefully get into the Corn Ferry Tour Championships. A fair bit of soul searching, I would imagine. There's going to be a lot of searching for, <laughs> for your game a little bit. I mean, you're going to be traveling, living on the road full time. It's not easy nor fun, but it can and hopefully will make this player better in the future. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.